Hello to everybody and welcome to this video. Today I would like to show you a powerful tool in order to view uh, output fields in, out in Abacus. So in my case I have open Abacus and in my case I have an axisymmetric model of uh, well I, want, I would like to represent here a hemisphere cut by axisymmetric uh, axis and a plate. So this contact, uh, I have a problem because uh, when I try to show the correct, the correct stress, shear stress, I can see the correct one. This is uh, in another direction. So it doesn't let me see how to well, it doesn't let me see the correct uh, shear stress. So, how do I create this? It was very easy. Uh, first of all, I need to go to, well, we need to know how to calculate this shear stress. The shear stress I want is the combination of the minimum principal stress and max principal stress. So the formula will be maximum, maximum principal stress minus minimum principal stress divided by 2. So how do I get that? So I need to go to Tools, uh, Field Output, Create from Fields. So I need to give it a name, in my case, Shear Stress Max, because this is the maximum. And now what I need to do is just go to stress, stress components, and select. Well, first of all, I would like to write parentheses and divide it by two because this way will be easy to introduce the values I want, the operators I want. So first of all, select stress components. Uh, I have this inserted, but this is stress. It, it, it's saying stress, general stress. The Abacus doesn't know what kind of stress. So I need to place, yeah, in there the mouse and go to scalars. No, sorry, and select. Sorry, delete everything. Select stress. First of all, well. First of all, go to Scalars, select the Stress, and now I want the uh, maximum principle. Okay, Stress. Minus, because I want to substrate the minimum principal stress to this. So, again, select Stress, and now minimum principle. So, I have all. So this is makes reference to the stress, this to maximum principle, minus stress, minimum principle, and uh, everything divided by two. So this way I will I will get the correct stress, shear stress. So okay. And now how can I see this stress? How can I represent it? So what I need to do is just go to results, step frame. And now we got a new uh, step created. So by creating this field output, I get this session step. So OK. And now what I need to do is just select the shear stress maximum. OK. So now I have the correct the correct uh, combination of what I wanted. So that's all. This is a very powerful tool where we can combine to get whatever we like, whatever field output we like. And it's, it's great. So thank you very much. Uh, that's all. Uh, uh, please don't forget to su subscribe to the, to the channel and please like us. See you later.